This is a project for the younger viewers and it's designing and making a chair for a teddy bear. Shed Hacks. Dad, what am I making today with you? Well, first of you, don't forget it's free to subscribe and you must do that, you know. Um, we're going to make a mini chair for a teddy bear. So um, you're going to make that with me, the mini chair for a teddy bear. Um, and in fact, for the viewers, I've made one for them. And here it is. It's not glued together. But if you watch all the clips, it will show you how to... Um, Put it all together and make it and you can see it's all jointed it's all jointed and this is with no glue i've just stood and stood on this so it's made strong and we've made this chair or this teddy bear an official shed hacker what do you think of that jake yeah you're gonna like this cool. one aren't you yeah. you think it's cool do you i yeah. think it's pretty cool um and you can give it as a friend couldn't you at christmas or easter or whenever um and I think for the younger viewers, you learn an awful lot from this little project. It's for beginners, really, but adults can make these sort of things. And you, I see these um, in these little markets you get around, and they sell for about 15 to 20 pounds. Uh, so there you go. Right oh, let's enjoy this clip then. Okay, Shed Hackers. Um, I just thought before we start the project, here's the design. I'll look at perhaps some of the sizes in a moment. And next to the design, I've done with my son, can you see, this is sort of a flow chart of the steps I've done in making uh, the chair. Um, if I turn that over, there's the design there, and you can see the tools I've used. And it mentions the tenon saw, tri-square, the ruler, the wood vise, the bench hook, the G-clamps, the sanding board, which some we can make up. A marking gauge or um, mortise and tenon gauge um, and a mallet and chisel and also a bench hook which um, looks a little bit like this I just made one actually and I'm going to talk to you about perhaps making your own to cut wood on okay so we'll talk about that a bit later in the clip and there's the side view there Jake if you just pan yeah. on that and you can make your sizes up a little bit and it shows the joints there are the rails there's the slatted top and there's, there will be a joint here, a joint here, and the other two joints are hidden there. And let me turn it over a bit. So there's the beginning. So we start off with the rails, cutting them the, the right length and then cutting out the joints. Making the front frame, checking it square with a tri-square. Making the rear or back frame here. And... Um, putting the rails in and there, there, there will be little joints mortise and tenon joints which are sort of hidden there and there in fact we're probably going to do a joint so the whole section of the timber the whole size, the size of the timber is actually hidden rather than just a joint cut out and turning back to this drawing here Jake um, here it is so we have a front view a side view and a plan view or top view, or some people call them the bird's eye view. So try and get that whole clip there, Jake. So front, side, and plan view. And this is the design that we've tried to uh, show. And look, this is the product, of course. There's the chair, Jake. Um, and you can see the joints in mm -hmm. there. Now we're gonna go step by step through it and all the other clips will follow some sort of logical sequence, I hope. And as you know, it's all designed a chair for a teddy bear. That's the idea. And we're going to be looking at, um, you know, perhaps putting your own logo on and maybe some detail around the edge. So it looks a little bit like this one I made earlier. But this is quite a bit smaller, that one, isn't it, Jay? Yeah. So, OK, that's the intro and uh, look forward to doing the rest with you guys. Okay, Jake, I didn't do the sizes, but this this is about 150 millimetres. This is 35. And that's the width of, of the timber. And the square section is 35 by 35. Total height is about 310 millimetres, of course. 
total width is about 200 millimeters um, so yeah it's 200 millimeters there across and the total depth if you just I'm just going to measure it here show me measuring it with them so I'm going to measure that depth right across oh it's quite deep it's about 220 so that size there is 220 millimeters and I think that pretty well covers so 310 high 35 so when I say um, it's 35 by 35 if I drew that in 3D there it's 35 across here and 35 across here and that's the square section okay um, the rails are roughly 10 millimeters to 12 millimeters thick in depth um, and these are here so Jake there they're roughly 12 millimeters across here and if I remember rightly about let's just measure just so you can make it yourself about 40 odd but you can millimeters high 40 by 12 so you can make the sizes yourself make your own logo um, and that's the design hopefully that helps you in the sizes right look forward to all this guys bye so how are we going to make this dad well it's, it's a nice little project this actually for the youngsters so stage by stage we'll take them through we're going to make this using um, Douglas fir or pine wood same sort of timber and we're going to use this these tools here so we've got a smoothing plane a block plane what's that one Jake a chisel a chisel bevel edge chisel because it's got the bevel here and here and that's 10 millimeters wide um, a marking gauge for some of the older viewers I might show them how to use that um, alternatively we will actually use a template to mark out all the joints as a template a Tri square. Tri square, and there's a mini one there, a little dinky one, <laughs> quite handy. Uh, a ruler, of course, a pencil, a pencil sharpener. It's important that that sh pencil's kept sharp. A rubber, a coping saw, yeah, and a tenon saw. Tenon saw, and the With tenon saw is going to be used for nearly all of the cuts. With a mallet and a some mallet. PVA. Yeah, PVA glue, and the mallet's always used with the chisel, so we don't damage. The end. If you use a normal hammer, you damage the end of the chisel. You don't want to do that. And, and even a teddy bear to put on the chair. Yes, a little mouse, a mousy person. Okay, so um, coming across, so here is all the timber, and it will be pre-cut for some of you. I'm sure if you're doing it with an older person. And so I've got the rails here, lots of rails, and uh, the rail. Is the part between all the main legs so that will be in between there with the joint and it'll be one at the front and you can personalize yours we've got shed hacker in there to personalize ours but there's another rail there and it will go in between there and there's one there and I'm going to ask that the younger viewers also put one at the back make it really stable and strong and all these joints although you can't see them are hidden inside each leg so lots of joints. I think there's about eight different joints, or eight um, mortise and tenon joints. Will it be strong enough to stand on? Do you want me to try? Yeah. Come on then. Okay. Let's see if I can stand on it. I'm twelve stone odd. Yeah. Yeah. I'm twelve stone plus, in fact. Okay. So um, there you go. Takes quite a lot of weight. It's not really made for anyone to sit on. Um, really, but I suppose a small child up to the age of two could sit on it. Anything more than that, I don't think I would advise it. But anyway, um, it's up to the, 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 the viewers and the makers what they do with it, of course. Their own risk, if you like. You can put extra detail on it, just saw out some extra detail, put it there and there if you want. Um, and another emblem or um, logo there if you want. Um, and you can decorate them, of course. You know. And I might even show you, if you just stay there a moment, Jake, um, yeah. you can actually ah. use what we call a pyrography, pyrography set. I thought it was pyrography. Yeah, pyrography, <laughs> well, yeah, pyrography. Um, and you can burn a little um, 
design into it if you want to. So that's a pretty good idea. Is there a cheap way of doing that? With a hot soldering iron. Wow. Which is for electronics. Some of the viewers may not know that. So, yeah. I mean, I think this is going to be a lovely little project. So we know the tools. We've got the timber. The sizes of the timber. Just briefly for the viewers to know. All the rails are 160 long. Uh, 45 millimetres wide and thickness about 12 millimetres okay um, and you have one two three four five of those and then for the slats on the seat there Jake put that light on have some of these and you could do a slatted seat if you want and I'd actually have it cut out there so it looks really neat and you have these can be cut down to size yeah so what's the dimensions on those? Well I'm going to leave that to the viewers because I think um, it really does depend on their own design and they ought to change it slightly but these are about 30 millimetres and wide um, about 10 millimetres thick and they are 230 wide but that's probably too wide for this okay so they're the slats for the seat the legs now the legs are approximately 300 millimetres long. I think we did that, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, if I turn that round there. They're approximately 300 millimetres long. Cut up to head under the ruler. <laughs> um, and obviously there's two of those for the back legs, or the rear legs, that's the proper term. And then we have two front legs, and they can be slightly longer. So my chair is going to be slightly bigger than this one. I think that'll help the viewers. So, just briefly, I suppose we're going to have a situation. So, we've got a joint there and a joint there, and that will form the, the back, the rear, and then we're going to have another frame, and we're going to have one there, and possibly, um, possibly, no, that's it, just one there at the top. So that will be the, um, the back, that will be the front legs. So if I put that down there, you can see. That's the, can you see how that would go together? Yeah. Like that. Yeah, and that would start forming the seat. Sorry, my arm was in there, right? Guys, yeah, so there you go. And we'll, we'll put this bit by bit together. Okay.